This is supposed to be a polling station. Behind here are members of the PDRC, the movement that has been deadly opposed to this election, determined to stop it. Uh, they've barricaded off. There's a polling station behind there. There's also a district office where ballot papers are being stored. They're not allowing anybody in. We've seen police going through trying to negotiate. There are election official, officials stuck in there. And, of course, the people who wanted to come and vote here can't do that. Now, if we wheel around at the other end of the road here, just a few hundred metres down, there's a line of police. Behind them are the people who want to vote. They've been shouting. We can hear them. They want to come in. They're very angry that their right to vote has been taken away from them. At the moment, the police are keeping them back. Uh, officially, the, the election has been stopped here for the moment, but these people want it to go ahead. But look at these people here. They're absolutely determined. They've got it very well blocked off. They've got barricades here. They've got barricades further back. They've got a stage inside. They're singing their uh, protest song that we've heard so many times, and it doesn't look like they are going to allow any voting to take place. So at least at this polling station, the election looks like it's off, and there'll be a number of other polling stations in Bangkok in a similar situation to this. Of course, in much of the country, outside of Bangkok, particularly in the north and northeast, polling is likely to go smoothly. I've seen other polling stations in Bangkok where it's going ahead. But there may be enough situations like this to threaten the result of the election.